Welcome to Rauta and opinion video about Christian metal and unblack metal. Now, people who have been knowing me for more than a few weeks or months know that I am a very, very, uh, say, atheistic or at the very least agnostic person and I don't believe in gods. That being said, why would I talk about Christian metal? Why would I talk about unblack metal? And what is this unblack metal in the first place? So in this video, I hope to kind of give you a recap of what it is means. And the reason why I'm doing this is that with the recent uh, ancient black metal band or black metal band from Norway, some people pointed out that it, you cannot really be Christian and you cannot be black metal at the same time. And I fully agree. Those of you who know me from, you know, years past and so pretty much know that what, what kind of uh, opinion I have about this. And I would say... If I had to put it in one word, it's crap. It's bull crap. And the thing is, I don't think that black metal exists in peace, like hand in hand, with Christian beliefs, Christian values, or morals related to Christian God, and so forth. There is no place for that kind of religion. And if you ask me, no place of religion at all. Even religious black metal makes me a little bit frowny, because I don't think those kind of uh, religious beliefs belong to black metal. That's just as to my opinion, of course, you're free to disagree. But point here is, with this video, is to talk about what are these unblack metal bands and what is Christian metal all about. Now, unblack metal is a term that I think first encountered during uh, mid or late 90s, when first, you know, kind of a Christian black metal bands started to emerge. Now, Christian metal is obviously a little bit uh, bigger kind of a thing than just uh, on black metal. And it is sometimes referred as white metal. That is basically everything that is related to Christianity, God, Jesus, whatever other crap. But it's done with a metallic ways, you know, instruments, riffs and whatever. It's usually called Christian metal or white metal. There's also a Wikipedia article about it if you want to read and have your listing of those bands. That is, if you want to avoid them or if you are a fan of them because maybe you are a Christian or if you just want to learn about these things. But mostly I want to talk you a little bit of these unblack uh, bands that started to kind of a pop up in the 90s. One of the first ones which I got to know of, this was, I think, nine, late 90s, mid 90s, late 90s, I'm not exactly sure which year, was a band called Horde from Australia. And I think it was 1994 or so when they released this album, which was kind of like raw black metal in the terms of music, that is, but then turned out to be just kind of a like Jesus message in a kind of a dark throne is way. Not exactly the type of dark throne, but I'm talking about the rawness. So it's like very different from like Christian rock. It's very raw and in your face. And if you didn't know this, you might be just like, oh yeah, this is some basic like satanic headbanging material. Well, it's not. It's like about, you know, destroying Satan or, you know, disbanding bands of black metal related to Satan, Lucifer and whatever. So it's very much like with Christian message, but the kind of appeal that would just kind of like fool you. Now, the thing is, I don't know why, because if you're a Christian person, why would you even uh, want to dress up like a black metal person? I mean, because they are like the opposite. It's like, hey, I hate Nazis. So I start to wear their clothes and start spreading my anti-Nazi thing. Like, why? Because that really doesn't make any sense. If you know what I mean. Now, obviously, nobody is banned for doing any kind of music. I mean, well, there are places where you just cannot play metal in the first place. Go Middle East or someplace. But I mean, when you're creating music, say you want to play metal music and you want to play certain type of riffs, of course, nobody, is, uh, nobody can stop you using whatever you, kind of lyrics you want to have there. But it still makes me want to think that, like... I don't know why are you doing that. I mean, if, for example, if you want to praise Jesus, I wouldn't know why. But anyway, if you want to do that, you could be just creating your own kind of music without actually trying to appeal to the kind of per people who are anyway against your kind of thoughts. Now, Rauta channel, through Rauta channel, I have been 
get to know uh, a couple of people who are actually Christian and still like to listen to blank bands like Vatane or Dark Throne or whatever. So it's like Christian people listening to anti-Christian music, which is also a little bit peculiar in my opinion. But hey, religious people are not the most sane people in the world. Now, that being said, I am expecting some hate from you, but it's okay. Now, still, these kind of bands are very much there. Bands like Antistor and the like. I will actually put the link in the description box so you can read more about those bands in case you are, for some reason, interested in. But these kind of bands, these unblack metal bands, are the type of metal bands that sound like black metal bands, but the message is quite different. It's kind of like the opposite. And <clears throat> I don't know if Ancient could be actually put into that particular crew. First of all, because Ancient started as just a normal black metal band. That is, it wasn't Christian in the beginning. Now that later on, the main man, Azel, uh, found Jesus and whatnot, we could basically label Ancient as a kind of unblack metal band. So it could have been previously as a black metal band and later on unblack metal band. But it, it's still, still at the same time it's not like exactly delivering the message of the church or Jesus Christ to the black metal audience because it would be ridiculous right at the, in the beginning. But anyway there is still this kind of a subgenre of a subgenre. So basically, Christian metal is more of a concept rather than musical style, as much as black metal is always or usually seen as a concept. But since these things just happen to overlap, sometimes you might end up having music that sounds just like black metal in the musical ways, but is exactly the opposite. And I know some people who just don't care. They don't care if uh, lyrics are about Jesus or Satan or Nazis or anti-Nazis or vegans or I don't know goddamn CrossFit but in case you are interested you should be checking out the lyrics you should be getting to know these topics what they are all all about for example I have uh, I'm a little bit allergic to religions in general so I don't find a religious metal album very likable at least when it comes to lyrics and that applies not only jesus bands but also kind of a religious black metal bands which is something that i like i like your music and i might like your mindset but i don't relate to these lyrics because they're very very different from my own mindset my own worldview and philosophy and whatever so uh I, i'm kind of trying to say that you be trying to find this information try to figure out what suits you and what is beyond that music that is suitable for your tastes and so forth but there you have it this is not very interesting topic i guess but just to let you know there are more than just ancient doing this style so don't get fooled about it or buy it and uh, check your facts before you get misled. Anyway, uh, nothing really to add to this. Enjoy your black metal. Don't so much like the black metal, on black metal it is. And should you have any questions, opinions, whatever, put them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. See ya and take care.